What's up guys, G5Cosmos here bringing you another video. In this one I'm going to be going over the new Smash Bros Ultimate 3.0.0 patch notes and I'm going to explain to you what this all means uh, for the competitive environment and just basically what some of the stuff means in general because some of it can be a little tricky to understand. So there are some big uh, universal changes here. Uh, it says all fighters basic movement. Perfect shields will no longer activate multiple times when the shield button is released once. This was creating more downtime than a single perfect shield. Um, so this is talking about parrying as we know it in the competitive community. And um, it's basically saying that you can't like multi-parry anymore. Um, like when you release, uh, when you get one parry and then the parry stays active and multiple hits happen uh, like after that. And then you would automatically parry those additionally. So uh, according to this, they're saying that that no longer can happen. Um, and or I think maybe that it will take just like the single amount of time, I'm not sure, because they're implying that it's like taking too much time that way. Um, but basically they're they're nerfing multi-parry with that. Okay, all fighters basic movement made it easier to be penalized for continuous dodging. So that means the staling on rolls, spot dodges, and air dodges uh, is increased. Uh, I'm get gathering from this, which is pretty good because the staling didn't really seem too significant. And that was kind of a big factor that was gonna supposed to, you know, affect you know, people who spammed rolls, spam dodges, like, you know, lower level players, kind of stuff like that. Okay, all fighters basic movement shortened the downtime when performing a perfect shield against projectiles. So, I think the downtime, they're talking about, like, the, um, it, it, it could be, like, the actual lag before you can act, but after parrying, but I think they're just talking about, like, the hit lag, like, the animation of the parry. Um, and that makes perfect sense, because when you're parrying a projectile, uh, the opponent doesn't get frozen. Like if you're if you parry the opponent, they they're also getting frozen in like the animation because it's like hit lag. But um, when you do that to a projectile, your opponent's nowhere near you usually, so you don't have to have that, and that's better for parrying projectiles. Although they definitely did a universal nerf on projectiles and shields uh, in general, as you'll see. So yeah, bayonetta neutral special reduced the power against shields. So I'm not going to read this for every situation. I'm going to explain to you what this means. Um, and I can't confirm whether it's power talking about shield stun or damage shield damage it's probably both but in general they made projectiles worse on shield so projectiles um, are not going to be as effective when they hit a shield in terms of keeping you in shield stun and like damaging your shield that's pretty much like i'm not sure if every projectile in the game got that nerf but many did as you'll see okay so here we have bowser uh, up special and made it so opponents cannot break their fall when continuously hit on the ground so I think they're saying uh, break, breaking falls is their term for teching, I believe. So when they're talking about this, they're saying if you get hit by Bowser's uh, up B, you can no longer like tech if you like happen to collide with the ground. They want the move to connect more reliably. So that's a small buff for Bowser, making his up B uh, connect more reliably, which is a good option for him anyway. Okay, next we have Bowser Jr. Neutral attack to increase the amount of time opponents will be in the damage animation when the move hits. Okay, so neutral attack 2, I think they mean jab when they're saying neutral attack. Um, and the damage animation when the move hits. This, this one's hard to make sense of. It might be more hit stun um, for the jab, like the second jab. So maybe, they, I, I think I think what this is, I'm pretty sure they're meaning that the jab is going to connect more reliably now. So uh, I think people would fall out of the jab sometimes. I think that's what they're talking about. Okay. Charizard side special increased the downward attack range when used on the ground. I believe this is actually fixing the weird dead spot that... Um, Flare Blitz had, there's like this spot where Flare Blitz would kind of like clearly touch you but not actually hit. I believe that's what they're talking about. Either way, they're increasing the range of Flare Blitz. That's that's what this says, plain and simple. All right, next up we have Chrom Dash Grab increased grab range. And I saw this for a few characters. They increased the grab range. Um, and I actually see a lot of people are like, oh no, they're buffing the grab range when these characters already had great grab range. I think they're more talking about like vertical range or... I'm not sure what it is, but there have been instances where um, there was that thing with Rob's shield, but I've seen even after they patched that, like Ganondorf will do a forward tilt and you'll grab it and it, it won't it won't grab. Like it, you'll grab right next to them, but it won't grab. And I think it has something to do with like hurt boxes and the animation. So it's quite possible that these grab buffs are to make it so just that when you actually dash grab somebody, it grabs them, you know, as it's supposed to instead of just missing them as sometimes would happen for no reason. All right, next up is Cloud Neutral Special. Just the normal shockwaves power against shields. So, um, let's see. Neutral special for Cloud. Alright, so they're talking about um, Blade Beam. And they're talking about the... So, yeah, this is... Oh, this is just the... the um, 
I don't know why they're, they're norm, normal. By normal shockwave, they mean without limit. So it's just, again, the projectile nerf. Corrin, uh, okay, this one's actually a little different. Corrin neutral special extended the time that uncharged shots last. This one's hard to make sense of. Do they mean hit stun? Probably not. I feel like they mean uh, maybe just like the hitbox, like it goes further, it stays out longer. Um, that the uncharged shots last. I'm not exactly sure what this means because if it's lasting longer, then it would have to go further because it's not like it, like, you know, stops moving and then disappears. But they're talking about the um, Dragon Fang shot with the neutral special for Corrin. Um, okay, now Corrin up smash. Oh, let's scroll down here as well. Um, yeah, so Corrin, uh, where is it? Or side smash, I should say. Side smash makes it easier to hit multiple times after releasing the button when charging a smash attack. So I guess sometimes people would fall out of the, the side smash, which uh, is already pretty reliable, um, you know, the, the multi-hit of Corrin's forward smash, but they really don't want people to fall out of it. So that's pretty good. Uh, down air got a buff. Let's see. Made it easier to hit multiple times against lightweight opponents. Again, they're trying to just make move, moves more consistent, have people not fall out of them. Just good stuff, but it doesn't really change much. Uh, side special reduced the amount of time necessary to take the next action after stabbing. Well, that's a that's a definite buff, uh, which means you can do things quicker after you get the stab. And I'm assuming that means that you can also do the drop down faster, which is really good because that's probably like a really good uh, addition to the move. But since you can't do it instantly, it's not as good. This helps that. So it's just going to allow you to do things quicker. It'll also let you follow up with the lunge quicker so people can't like mash out as quickly or whatever, what what have you in that regard. Um, okay, and next we have Daisy. Uh, final Smash and Final Smash Meter reduce the amount of time opponents sleep. They actually nerfed the Final Smash. Um, shows that they're, they're, uh, they are adjusting the game with casual play in mind as well. Uh, okay, this one, <laughs> this might be my favorite of the changes here. Um, and that's actually Daisy... Um, down special here it says the launch distance when hitting an opponent with a vegetable now matches peach reduced the vegetables power against shield so the second part is just the shield thing again but uh this basically means if you saw there was this big you know commotion on twitter and reddit about how people discovered that the only difference besides like their animation or whatever when they're like moving between peach and daisy is that the uh turnips have slightly different knockback growth so like daisy's uh Turnips were not as strong for killing, technically, or like strong at higher percent uh, as Peaches. And now they've changed that. So I guess they just saw that commotion and either they realized, oops, we didn't mean to do that. Or, oops, we didn't want people to know that they weren't the same, so they made them the same. I'm not really sure. But they clearly want Peach and Daisy to be exactly the same character, besides for their appearance. So there's that. Alright, next is Daisy, uh, Daisy Neutral Special. When used continuously in the air, fall speed will not decrease after the first use. So this, I think this is talking about like stalling with it. Let's see, when used continuously in the air, fall speed will not decrease after the first use. Okay, so I think this is saying that you can stall with Toad now. Um, fall speed, or, or will not decrease. Oh, so that you can't stall. Oh yeah, this is saying you can't stall. Because if fall speed's decreasing, that means you're stalling. So I guess you could stall when you used, um, I'm not sure if this means on hit, on activation though or not, but um, that's that's what they're getting at there. Um, it affects, like, how it's stalling you in the air. Okay, next we have Dark Pit, Neutral Special, reduce Power Against Shields. We know this. Dark Sam is same thing. Neutral Special, reduce Power Against Shields. Um, I'm really interested as to whether this applies to you shield damage for Dark Samus, because a fully charged charge shot is pretty strong. Uh, a kid can break a shield, so this could actually be more of a significant nerf in her case. All right, next we have Diddy Kong, and we actually have quite a few things for Diddy Kong here. Um, we have... Down smash, extended launch distance, so more knockback on down smash. Uh, up air, same thing, increased attack power and maintain... Oh, no, actually, slightly different. Increased attack power and maintain launch distance. Distance. Um, so if launch distance is, like, knockback, then I think attack power would be damage? Um, probably, right? Because what else would attack power be? Unless it's talking about, like, knockback growth versus knockback... Uh, base knockback, I'm not sure. Um, but either way, it's a buff, like, it's making it stronger. Although it could affect combo potential, I'm not sure. Uh, neutral air, increased attack range, so the more range on his neutral air. Um, faster dash attack, so I'm not sure what the frame data changes, but they made his dash attack faster. That's obviously a buff. Uh, forward tilt, increased the amount of time hit detection lasts. So that means it's going to be active longer, basically. And next we have neutral special, increased the attack range. Um, so the peanut... Uh... Oh, this is Donkey Kong, I'm sorry. 
Uh, so yeah, so that's it for Diddy Kong, but Diddy Kong universally buffed. Uh, not, nothing huge, I don't think, unless the up air thing makes his up air combo like really well, uh, or maybe it'll actually nerf his uh, combo potential, I don't know. But it seems like, you know, overall buffs for, for Diddy. Okay, next we have Donkey Kong neutral special increased the attack range. Um, so that's the giant punch. This is probably fixing the dead zone. Like a few moves had some dead zones and uh, Donkey Kong's giant punch was one of them. I think that's what this is talking about. Can't be sure yet. Okay, next we have Dr. Mario. There's a few changes here for Dr. Mario. Final smash and smash meter at the start of the move nearby opponents will be slowed more and slowed longer. I think that they're saying this is a buff for the final smash. Um, not too important to me, uh, the final smash, but there's that. Okay, neutral special, reduced power against shields again. Same thing for Duck Hunt's neutral special and side special, the universal projectile on shield nerf. A Ganondorf. Change the posture when receiving damage in the air and made it easier to receive damage. Uh, we've heard, we've seen this for at least two characters, Ganondorf and, and the other one is Pichu. Um, this is like an adjustment to their hurt box and tumble, I believe. It just makes them easier to be hit, so they're not... Uh, I, don't, I never really found like it was hard to hit Ganon, but they're making it their animation like more easy to hit, like bigger in some way. Um, okay, or like their hurt box bigger when they're in, in uh, humble. Uh, not so a, a, a nerf for Ganondorf for sure, but probably not a, a significant one. Next up, we have Greninja, the reduction on shield again. Ice climbers, uh, extended launch distance for the final smash meter. Um, is their final smash? Uh, okay, next up we have Inkling, side special. Um, shorten launch distance for the attack when accelerating again. So I think, I'm not too sure exactly how roller works when you're doing it a second time. This is a very strange description. I think they're saying that if you do the roller and then you do another roller to hit the person when they're already grounded, then it will not be as strong. I'm pretty sure if... I'm pretty sure if you do a second roller when somebody's already in the ground, it just knocks them back as if the roller had hit them when they were not in a standing position to begin with. Um, so I guess they nerfed that. It doesn't seem significant to me. Um, Isabel back air, reduce the power against shield. Same thing for forward air. Probably going to see the same thing for villager. Um, Ivysaur again, shield projectile nerf. Jigglypuff final smash. Uh, easier to push opponents. That's good because that was not a great final smash, so they buffed it. Can edge attack shortened hit stun time? Okay, I'm actually not 100% sure what edge attack is. Oh, oh no, they're talking about his attack from the, uh, like his getup attack from the ledge. I think that's what they mean. Um, so shortened hit stun time. So can anyone like possibly imagine why they would do something? Unless edge attack is the name for for one of his own moves, but I don't think so because they they say side special or like down special. So, I mean, this is this is literally talking about his edge attack when he's holding onto the to the ledge, does a getup attack from ledge. It, 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 ha it has less hit stun. But they're talking, I mean, they say hit stun, so that, that would mean when it hits the other person, the other person is less stunned. I don't know, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. All right, DDDs, Gordos, again, power on shield. So, get, I mean, this is not really a specific nerf because this is the universal nerf that we've been seeing with projectiles on shields, but DDD is nerfed again. So come on, come on guys, what are you doing to DDD? Um, okay, K rule, forward air attack, increase the high damage range. So when they say like high damage, like they mean like the strong hit. So forward air and forward tilt both got um, more range on the strong hit. Up throw no longer affected by the wind while throwing. I guess um, uh, there's wind. I, I don't know. Like there, there's no wind in any stages that we're, we're playing with legally. So this doesn't really matter for competitive stuff. Maybe if you were playing on some windy stage uh, or in World of Light, you know, and you were having some trouble with up throw. I don't know. But not, not really a big deal. Um, where are we? Uh, where are we here? K rule. Up. Uh, up throw. Yeah. I win. Okay. All right. So side special reduced power again. Down special reduced vulnerability when the counter succeeds, and reduced vulnerability when the counter fails. So that means they buffed his counter. It's no longer uh, as vulnerable to be punished, whether it uh, activates or not. Uh, his up air reduced vulnerability as well. I wonder if they mean end lag with this because K rule's up air was like notoriously laggy. Like you just couldn't do anything for a really, really long time after his up air. So much to the point where people would joke that he, he goes into free fall afterward, which was a joke and obviously not true. Okay, uh, anyway, next up we have Kirby. 
Okay, looks like we got a few things for Kirby here. Uh, up smash attack, extend to the high damage, and reduce the low damage window. I think by reduced, they mean that it's it's more of the move is the strong hit. So Kirby's up smash is more likely to hit you with the strong hit, not the weak hit. And down throw, increased power. I guess more... Well, we, we, we don't really know if this means damage or knockback, but since, since they say launch distance, I want to say increased power means damage, but I'm not sure. Did we see... Does it say damage on anything? I haven't seen it say the word damage, I don't think. So maybe it's more damage. Kirby neutral special increased the amount of time that copy abilities cannot be lost by taking damage and made it easier for Kirby to retain copy abilities overall. The second part is very, very vague overall. Like, what does that mean? Like, does it does it last long? Like, I, I don't know what that means. But the first part is pretty simple. He will not lose his copy ability. Um, oh, I think you know what I think this means? I think there's a period of time when Kirby will not lose the copy ability at all, no matter how hard he's hit, as long as he doesn't die. And then, this implies this at least, I don't know this for a fact. And then, this implies that after a certain amount of time, Kirby would be able to lose his um, copy ability by getting hit. And they, A, made the time when he can get hit to lose it later, after he gets it. And they also made it harder for, like he has to get hit harder or something for him to lose it. That, that's what this implies to me. Can't be sure though. Uh, okay. So next up we have, so that's obviously a buff. All buffs for Kirby so far. Up special increase the speed of the edge grab range detection. By speed, I think they mean it grabs it earlier in the move. So that means you can uh, grab ledge earlier with Kirby's up B and you don't have to worry about people always hitting you for it as much. Not sure how significant that is of a change, but that's pretty good. Neutral air attack reduced vulnerability. So less lag on Nair most likely. And shorten landing time after use. Alright, so less... I want to say this means less lag in the air and on the ground. So a buff to Kirby's neutral air. Alright, next up we have Link. So I'm assuming we're going to see a lot of the... Yep, yeah, reduced power against shields. Actually, only for his boomerang. So arrows and bombs still just as good as on shield for whatever reason. Um, next up we have Lucario. Uh, the same nerf. Made his aura sphere weaker on shield. That's a relief. Um, I wonder if that applies to the charging hitbox as well, actually. Because usually it's just talking about a projectile, but if it's the same move, EB it's universal? I don't know how that works. Probably not, though. Probably just the projectile. Uh, Lucina, same as Chrom, has the increased grab range on the dash grab. Again, I believe this is done to fix uh, inconsistencies where it looks like you should grab somebody and you don't. But I'm not 100% sure. Next up, we have... Um, Oh, and Lucina's neutral special. Oh, no, no, you know, that's Lucario. Anyway, Luigi, neutral special again. The fireball's nerfed. Mario, uh, same uh, uh, buff as to Docs, because they have pretty much the same final smash. Right about to that. Fireball also works worse on shield. Dash grab, more range again. Uh, oh, this is for Marth now. It's all the, um, like, the Marth clones that are getting this buff. Um, which I'd really like to, to dig delve more into this, because they do have really big grab range as is. Um, I'm hoping this is just specifically to fix, like, weird dead spots in the grab and stuff like that. Okay, uh, next up we have Mega Man up smash extended launch distance. So more knockback on Mega Man's up smash. That's good. Uh, Mega Man down special, uh, reduced attack speed, reduced vul increased vulnerability. Throwing type items can no longer be thrown while using leaf shield. So leaf shield just got nerfed. Um... So you can't throw uh, items anymore, which would be like the Metal Blade uh, when you're in Leaf Shield. It's slower and more vulnerable. I really don't know why they nerfed Mega Man twice, and I've heard a lot of, um, you know, Mega Man players complaining about this. Really a shame. You know, Mega Man was good in this game, but it wasn't like it wasn't like winning majors or anything. So this is kind of suspect that they would do, but that's yeah, a nerf for Mega Man. And then a lot of nerfs for all of his projectiles or various projectiles on shields, as you see here. That's sad. All right, next up, Mewtwo. Um, edge dodge. Uh, extended invincibility time. Edge dodge. I want to say that means rolling from the ledge. Edge dodge. Yeah, that's probably what it means. Probably means rolling from the ledge. Either that or neutral get up. I'm not sure, but it, it's more invincible. That's good. That's a buff. Okay, his neutral special um, has more knockback, but still worse against shield. So uh, the universal buff, uh, universal nerf, but also a buff to Mewtwo's uh, Shadow Ball. Uh, forward tilt has more power and launch distance so more damage and knockback i'm assuming up air same thing up tilt increased attack power and maintained launch distance so more damage same knockback i'm assuming adjusted launch angle when hit by the tip of the tail um, u2 edge attack so get up attack from ledge increased attack range side smash increased attack range 
neutral attack one, the jab one, increased attack speed. So his jab one's faster. That's really good, actually, potentially. Uh, basic movement, increase the fighter's weight. Oh, this is so huge. I actually heard about this, but I forgot. So Mewtwo has always been notoriously light for a character that in the lore from Pokemon is not light at all. And now they made him uh, heavier. So I don't know how much heavier, but even, you know, anything helps. It's going to mean it's gonna, he's going to live longer. So these are some nice buffs to Mewtwo. Nothing huge, though. I don't think anything huge here. It's not, like, really affecting his, like, combo potential um, or just the general way he plays. But it definitely makes him better and not worse. So that's good, at least. All right, next we have Meat Gunner. Um, this is just a lot of the projectile on shield nerfs. In fact, the Sword Fighter, his getup attack from ledge has increased attack range for some reason. Um... His projectiles are weaker on shields. And Mr. Game & Watch got a buff to his final smash. Increase the amount of opponents that are trapped. Uh, you can, Or the amount of time opponents are trapped. So, okay, good. And Ness. Let's see. Ness neutral special increase the attack range. On... Ooh, they made the range of PK Flash bigger? Ness neutral special. Yeah, that's what that is. Huh. I wonder why they would do that. Um, oh, there it is. And next we have Down Smash. Shorten the charge time. Shorten the charge time. I've never seen something like that before. What does that mean? Shorten the charge time. Reduce the amount of time hit detection lasts while charging. So uh, what this means is that you're not... It, they, they, it's a nerf. Uh, you can't, like, hold down smash uh, around the ledge as long and have the charging hitbox um, active as long. Because, you know, that move has, like, a hitbox while you're charging it. So that's what they're talking about here. And they did the same thing to his up smash because you could use both up and down smash, charge them by ledge or just charge them in one place and hold them out. I guess they didn't like how Nest players were just doing that. Um, you know, that, that is unfortunate for the Nest players. That was one of his strongest tools and it's at least nerfed a little bit. I can't say how much just yet. All right, next up, Olimar. Let's see, Olimar, reduce the power against shields for the Pikmin throw. That makes sense. Same thing for forward smash, um, which is interesting because it's... I guess a projectile, but it's, you know, it's a smash attack. The power will now properly increase when charged. So Olimar had this weird thing where his smash attacks wouldn't get stronger when you charge them. And even though Olimar certainly doesn't need any buffs, uh, you know, that's definitely an oversight and something that didn't really make sense. So I'm kind of glad that they changed that. Uh, the power will now, but that definitely, you know, does only, it does buff him. <laughs> you know, being able to charge smashes and get stronger smashes is, is a good thing for him. Um, the less, uh, you know, power on shields for side smash is you know good but i would think that they would do that for up smash so that way it wasn't as broken as it was but okay all right next we have pac-man uh, down special increased the downward attack range of the fire hydrant while it's falling okay that's a buff reduced the power against shields for the hydrant the general nerf and we see that for uh, his neutral special as well palutena's a neutral inside special are worse on shield that's that's you know, a move that she uses a lot in Explosive Flame, so that's pretty good uh, for people fighting against Palutena that that happens. And next up we have Peach. Peach down special reduced the vegetable's power against shields, of course. Uh, Final Smash nerfed, same as Daisy. Neutral special when the same thing as Daisy again, the fall speed. Um, that's the same. Now here's the thing of Peach that's the same as Ganondorf. Charged the, changed the posture when receiving damage in the air and made it easier. To receive damage, change the posture when landing and made it easier to receive damage. The landing is interesting because Pichu would have a tendency to like pancake when he landed so that uh, he would land with something that was technically punishable because it was laggy, but he would be super low on the ground. So it'd be actually hard to hit him with a punish. So this seems to address that. All right, next up we have Pikachu. Uh, neutral specials worth worse on shield for both Pikachu and Pichu. Prana Plant. Okay, Prana Plant. Increased attack range for the spiked ball. Um, so that's already probably one of his best moves, and they buffed that, so that's good. Uh, let's see, we also have increased range on getup attack. Not really much of a change to Piranha Plant, but it's not a nerf, so that's good. Um, next we have Pit, uh, the arrow's worse on shields. Rob's down smash, uh, a down special and neutral special worse on shields. Um, Richter, more in, uh, range on his getup attack. So they're making getup, I like that this is, because getup attack is always really committal. And sometimes there are just times when, like, your getup attack won't hit the person, and it can be annoying. Like, you know, if you're if you're trying to, like, mess with somebody at ledge, um, getup attack is something that you should have to respect with shield because it's so punishable. Um, it's such a risk. Uh, then re reduce power on shields for the cross. Um, but that's it. No, not for the axe. 
which is pretty good for him because the axe, like, breaks shields, has really good shield damage. So, for some reason, they only nerfed the cross. A Ridley, mm, Ridley can now move earlier than opponents. Okay, so that's a buff to his final smash. Uh, neutral special, uh, worse on shield, side special, worse on shield for Robin. Neutral special, let's see, reduced thunder, L thunder's power against shields. Okay, so they're just talking about how it's both of them. Same general nerf. Rosalina, at the start of moving nearby opponents, will be slowed more. That's a buff to Rosalina's final smash. And we also have down tilt. If Luma's close, Luma will move in front of Rosalina when attacking in the opposite direction. Uh, let's see if Luma's in front of Luma when attacking in the opposite direction. I'm not quite sure what this means. Um, but maybe Luma will like jump ahead instead of staying in, in a position behind. Luma's close, and the same thing um, with forward tilt. Uh, but that seems that seems odd to me because there would be times when like Luma would be behind you. I think it's like if Luma's behind you. Uh, and you try to, like, swing, uh, and Luma won't stay behind you, she'll, like, go in front of you. If, if she, if Luma's facing, uh, the opposite direction that you're facing, that's kind of weird. I don't really know what this will do, but, uh, okay. And then we have the nerf to, um, Luma Shot and Star Bits on Shield. That's pretty much expected. Roy, same thing as everybody else with the Marth characters and their grab range getting increased. Up special made it easier to hit multiple times. I believe this is a nerf to how Roy would sometimes like up B to the ledge and you would just like fall out of it. Or even sometimes not at ledge, you'd fall out of it and fly like really, really far, sometimes die really early. But it's going to connect more reliably, so that's definitely a buff though. Um, well, I guess, I mean, if you wanted to cheese people out, but you can't, I feel like people didn't really control that with Roy. I think it's a buff because, you know, the move's going to be more consistent that way. Okay, uh, Ryu. Edge attack, shorten hit stun time. Same thing as Ken. I don't know why. Samus uh, against shields, of course. Sheik Fair. Okay, so there are some like subtle Sheik buffs here. Now we'll see. Uh, Sheik Fair is has more range. Big down tilt um, ha with the tip of the attack. So I guess it, basically more range, easier to hit with. Flurry attack finish. I think they mean her jab. Uh, so less lag on her multi jab. But you know, generally you don't want to be whiffing a multi jab anyway. I don't know how good that is. Neutral special, shorten the charge time, so needles charge faster. Your getup attack has more range. Um, okay. Oh, that's this is Shulk now. The so Shulk's uh, ledge getup attack and his wake up attack both have more range. See, when they say getup attack, I'm pretty sure they mean like wake up attack, like when you're on. That's what it was previously called in other Smash games. When you're just on the ground and you press A. Uh, we tend to call it getup attack in both situations, but there's two the other. Okay, Simon, same thing as uh, Richter, more range on his ledge getup attack. Uh, the nerf for cross on shield. All right, Snake, let's see, extended launch distance when hit in the high damage range. Back air is buffed, so the strong hit of back air is even stronger now for Snake. Uh, up smash, in increased vulnerability, uh, so up smash has more lag, I'm assuming. And side special, reduce the attack range of airborne missiles. Okay, hold on, this is Nikita. Um, reduce the attack range of airborne missiles. So, I don't know if range means, like, how long you can control it, or something to do with how you control it, or just the hitbox itself is smaller. Uh, but that's, that's definitely one to look out for, because Snake's Nikita was a really, uh, dangerous move, and probably still is. Honestly, I don't really think it needed to be nerfed, because Snake isn't, uh, eh, Snake does pretty well in tournaments, so maybe, maybe that's a fair nerf. That's hard to say. Um, and... We also have neutral special, reduce the power against shields for grenades. Sonic's final smash has more range. Okay. Sonic's meter, uh, much meter increased attack range. Why would they have final smash and final smash meter as two different things? That doesn't make any sense. Um, but we don't really care about that. Okay. Toon Link's side special against shields, against shields, against shields. Uh, for villager now we have, um, all these, you know, slingshots reduced on shield as well as, uh, the Lloyd Rocket is worse on shield, so that's a that's a that's a more significant nerf than I'd say the other moves. Uh, Wario can easily he can eat projectiles more easily. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if that means that he uh, will have less lag, or if it's just like a bigger hitbox for eating projectiles. Uh, I'm not sure. We Fit Trainer Neutral Attack Three. That's uh, Jab Three, so it's going to bury more easily. That's a buff. Uh, down special increase the amount of time the effect lasts when successful. Oh, that's that's a dangerous buff. If you ever played a really good Wii Fit trainer, the um, the deep breathing is very strong, like very significant when she has it. And now it's going to last even longer. 
So Weefit Trainer might actually, uh, you know, I think Weefit Trainer was already kind of like a sleeper, decent character in the game. And thanks to this change, um, she might, you might see a lot more of her. Um, ho ho hopefully John Numbers doesn't pick her up again. <laughs> uh, if you're in the New York area. Um, neutral special against Shields of Corvus reduced. Side special, that's the soccer ball. Change the location of the ball spawn when touching terrain. I want to say this has something to do with how the turn the ball would go through the stage, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, okay, next we have Wolf, so here's something a little significant. Well, obviously laser worse on shields. Down smash attack, shorten the launch distance of the forward attack. So everybody knows how crazy strong Wolf's down smash um, was, and they finally nerfed that, but they didn't nerf the range. And so it's still going to hit, you know, like two frame really well. I imagine it's still pretty strong. I'm not actually sure how much they nerfed it. This is probably not super significant, but it is probably a deserved nerf because that move was unnecessarily strong. I play the character, so I would have been fine if they kept it, but I'd, I'd have to admit that it's pretty, um, it's pretty OP, or at least it was. Anyway, Yoshi's eggs reduced power on shields. Uh, Young Link arrows reduced power on shields. And Boomerang. Weirdly, Young Link seems to be the only Link that got more than the Boomerang reduced on shields. Uh, but it does kind of make sense if you think about how good Young Link's arrows are. And Zelda's down special reduced power against shield. That's, thank goodness, Phantom isn't as strong. But honestly, Zelda didn't really deserve that because she's not like a character. I mean, she's not like a super amazing character anyway. But yeah, guys, that wraps up this patch. So the basic takeaway from this patch is projectiles are not as good on shield in general. Uh, some project projectiles were unchanged, but a lot of them got hit in this way. A few characters got changed in somewhat significant ways, like Diddy Kong. Um, I don't even want to say Sheik, because Sheik didn't really get much of a change. Uh, I don't feel like this patch makes much of a difference in how the game plays, and I think that's a good thing. I don't think the game uh, was really uh, particularly unbalanced. You know, there's always going to be this and that here and there that people don't care for, but... Overall, I'm fine with this. I don't see any problems. For some of those strange things that I was unsure about, you guys can let me know in the comments if you know what they meant a little more. And um, as I start to see how people are talking about the changes to their characters and whatnot, I will let you know, uh, potentially do a follow-up video if things are more significant than I thought. Uh, but yeah, guys, make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already to check out tech and tips from Game 5 Smash. As always, most of the videos that we do on this channel, if you're a new viewer, are scripted and... Uh, you know, have a lot of editing done, but these videos that I make for the patches are more just opinionated videos where I get myself on camera and I just talk to you guys. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching and bye-bye.